Hello, hi survivors. It's been a while since I've been on my channel, but I have a wonderful surprise for you guys. I wanted you to be the first to get a sneak peek of me sharing my story on a website called Amplified Black Voices. Uh, we join together with other cancer survivors and we're sharing our story. We're coming together. We want to have a website where people can go of color um, to find our information and resources and hear other success stories and just learn more about your cancer diagnosis. Lots and lots of resources. So we are launching tomorrow morning, but um, I wanted to give a sneak preview to my survivors because you guys are wonderful. So survivors, just for you, you know, we all are surviving something. So I wanted to share this with you guys. I wanted you to be the first to see it. Tomorrow, you can go on and watch other voices. I definitely recommend you check out the website and watch all of the wonderful stories that's shared. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Let me know what you think about the video. And if you have not yet, subscribe to my channel. I was called to come in and do a repeat mammogram and ultrasound. I got back in, the radiologist said I had a new growth, different from the fibrous areas that she had been watching for the last few years. So she was concerned about the growth in my left breast and my left nose. She did a biopsy on both areas. I was diagnosed with breast cancer stage 2, grade C, invasive ductal carcinoma. My receptotype was triple negative. It represents 10 to 15 percent of all breast cancers. One of the most aggressive types of cancers. All receptors were negative, which means they were not sure what caused my cancer and no target drugs to treat it. The standard of care was chemotherapy, surgery, and radiation. I'm doing my first chemo treatment today. Um, I'm going to be on two different medications. One I already went through. The second one is going through right now. I have 16 weeks of treatment every other week on Fridays. So I have a long journey. My initial feelings from being diagnosed with cancer was fear, anxiety, stress, dread, and a little bit of anger. I mostly was just concerned about my children and who would be the caregiver, who would take care of them if something happened to me. I just kind of wanted to let everyone know how I was doing since I finished my last chemotherapy appointment um, almost two weeks ago. I am feeling okay today. I had caught a cold over the weekend, so I'm still kind of dealing with you know, the effects of that. But overall, I'm feeling pretty good and strong. A little bit nervous about my upcoming surgery, mainly because um, of what the surgery entails. The other part, mainly because I won't really be able to take care of myself. I'm used to taking care of myself. My experience of being black and having breast cancer has been a little bit more traumatic to me because having triple negative breast cancer, it was told to me that African-American women are diagnosed at a higher rate than other races, and that is one of the most dangerous and aggressive types. So from the very beginning, I felt fear, um, some hopelessness, and that my treatments were limited. Today is the day of my surgery. So as you can see, my eyebrows have grown back. So I'm really excited about that. Even my hair is growing back. I'm feeling really great in my spirit. I have a lot of people praying for me and a lot of loved ones lifting me up in prayer today. And some family and friends are here and going to be with me all day through surgery. I am very excited that, you know, I'm finally beginning to take steps to getting back to a normal life. You know, after this, I have one more surgery or maybe two more surgeries. But I am really focused on being the best me that I can be. Like my brother said this morning, just show up. And God is going to do the rest. Your words have power. Your thoughts matter. Make them count. I wrote a book about my surgery and recovery. I am the author of Cancer Won't Stop Me. I wrote Cancer Won't Stop Me initially as a way to heal and to say my true feelings. What 
about being polite and nice, I wanted to share my real unfiltered thoughts and struggles. My book is my journey of my hardest, most difficult and challenging time of my life. It was so many days I did not know if I would make it, but I made it. I did. I did not go through this for nothing. My story in life is to give encouragement, peace, faith, and perseverance to the person wanting to live and fight their battle. No matter what you decide, no one can do this alone. We are all in this together. I had my first radiation treatment today. Um, it went well, I think. Kind of nervous, and you know how, I, well, hopefully you know how it is. I don't really want to go into detail about it, but day one of 25 treatments. And I feel fine. I feel pretty good. I was a little tired today, but you know, I didn't let that get me down. I can remember struggling to get out of bed, walking again, getting my range of motion back, overcoming the rapidity in my hands and my feet. So last weekend, completed a 55 mile bike ride with my bike small group. That was hard, and I wanted to quit so many times. I did not quit, though. I kept going. It reminded me of my cancer journey. It was hard. It was trying on my body. Painful. I wanted to quit. Life can be just like this. But do not quit. Don't give up. Keep going. It gets better. I'm here for my follow-up appointment two weeks after finishing that radiation. I'll be here today and tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll leave back out going home, but um, just kind of wanted to give an update of how I'm doing. I'm feeling great. have lots of energy. I went through all of that treatment very well and dealt with that fine. So basically having a great team in place like traditional and non-traditional doctors, I think that really made the difference. Um, I think that the integrated care really goes hand in hand. I am so looking forward to my life returning back to normal, and I'm so glad that I have at least six months before I have another surgery. My last surgery is going to be my reconstruction surgery. I live my life now, and I challenge myself every day. I do not let fears or limitations keep me from living my life. Some of my hopes for the future of cancer is that cancer will be eradicated from the earth that there will be research done, and that there will be found a cure for cancer.